All right, guys. Um, so this is January um, 2020, question number nine. Um, it says the circle um, shown below as center O and the points A, B, C, and D lie on the, circum um, on the circumference. A straight line passes through the points A and B. Um, angle C, B, D is, 90 deg is 49 degrees. And angle O, A, B is um, 37 degrees. We're to write down the mathematical names of the straight lines B, C, and O, A. So B, C is a chord. So a chord is any straight line that is drawn um, across the circle that touches the circumference at two points. All right. Um, B, C is a chord. Um, o, A is a radius. And that would be any straight line, any straight line drawn from the, any straight straight line drawn from the center of the circle to the circumference. Next, we're asked to determine the value of each of the following angles, show detail working where necessary, and give a reason to support your answer. All right, so the first angle we need to find is X. All right, um, if you look carefully, you'll notice that um, OA is radius already stated. OB is also a radius. Therefore, triangle um, OAB is a isosceles triangle. So in which case, the angle down here, theta, would also be equal to 37 degrees. All right. So, and then now the three angles, 37, 37 plus X would be equal to 180 degrees. The angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I would start out by saying that um, theta, the angle I put in is equal to 37 degrees. It is the base angle of an isosceles triangle. Um, therefore, no x plus 37 plus 37 would be equal to 180 degrees. Um, x plus 74 would be equal to 180 degrees. x would be equal to 180 minus 74. x is 106 degrees. So the basic reason for my solution is this, that um, triangle AOB is an isosceles triangle. That's the basic reason behind my solution. Um, next, we're asked to determine, we're asked to determine the size of angle Y. All right, um, here's how I would go about working out angle Y. I would start out by pointing to the, example, the examiner that the angle at C is 90 degrees. And the basic reason for that is because it's an angle in a semicircle. The angle in a semicircle, the angle form and the circumference in a semicircle is equal to um, 90 degrees. Um, then now Y plus 49, Sorry, y plus 49 plus 90 would be equal to 180 degrees. Those would be the angles in a triangle. So the next thing I would do is this. So next I would say that y, sorry, I would say first that c is equal to 90 degrees. Um, angle in a semi-circle. All right, then I would say that y plus 49 plus um, 30, what, seven? No, plus 49 plus y plus 49, uh, y plus 49 plus 90, sorry, plus 90 is equal to 180 degrees. They are the interior angles of a triangle. 
plus 139 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So y would be equal to 180 minus 139. Y would be equal to, it looks like 41 degrees. Y is equal to 41 degrees. Um, let's state this properly, B, C, D. So what is my reason? My reason is that angle B, C, D is equal to 90 degrees. Um, it is an angle in a semi circle. All right, so we find um, X, we find Y. Let's move on. All right, so um, this part of the question, B part is buried. It says the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows the root of a ship. It shows the root of a ship cruising from um, Palm City P to Quay, Quayton Q and then to Riverton R. The bearing of Q and P is um, of Q from P is 133 degrees, and the angle um, PQR is 56 degrees. We're to calculate the value of W. Well, this is what I would use. I would use that these angles here are alternate angles. The angle here and the angle here, they are alternate angles. That is what I would use to find the value of W. It's not the only approach, but it would work. I would say that W plus 56 degrees is equal to 133 degrees. They are alternate angles. So alternate or Z angles, there's my Z. All right, so that is what I would use to come up with my solution for the sign for the value of angle W. So W would be equal to 133 minus 56 degrees. W would be equal to, so 133 minus 56, W would be equal to 70 seven degrees. All right, the next thing. I don't know why this happens sometimes, but it does. We're to determine the bearing of um, P um, from Q. So we want the bearing of P from Q. Um, bearing is always measured clockwise starting from naught. So we're gonna start here and come all the way around. All right, and that is not difficult because we have all the parts we need. This is um, 77, we just found it. From north to south is 180. From north to south is 180 degrees. Um, bearing is measured clockwise from north. So I would tell the examiner that the bearing of P from Q would be equal to 180 plus 56 plus 77. So this is 180 plus 133. And this is 313 degrees. The bearing of P from, um, from Q is 313 degrees. You see, the um, it's supposed to be simple. It's only valued one mark. Next, we're asked to calculate the distance um, RP. Let's go back to our diagram. All right, so in the diagram, we're asked to find RP. I'm going to call it X. Um, this is a non-right angle triangle. I know the length of two sides. 
210 and 290, and the size of the angle between them, which is 56. So that is a condition for applying the cosine rule. So the cosine rule says a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine a. Um, in the cosine rule formula, a is the side opposite the inclusive angle. So this is x square. The other b and c are the other two sides, which are 210 square plus 290 square minus 2 times 210 times 290 times the cosine of the angle between them, which is 56 degrees. Now, if you wanted to, you could have just put this entire thing in a calculator and press equal. But let's, let's just work it down a little. So this is what, 500 minus 2 times 210 um, times, um, ugh, you all seen, don't see that I'm making a mistake. All right, so 210 squared, um, this is 4, 4, 100, 290 squared, this is 8, 4, 100, minus 2 times 210 times 290, 1,201, 800, the cosine of 56. Four four one hundred plus eight four one hundred. This is one twenty eight. Two hundred minus one two. Sorry, one two one. 800, the cosine of 56. What I would do is that I would just put this, since this is x squared, so that's what x would be equal to. Then I would put this entire thing in my calculator and press equal. When you do, don't forget the bracket. So it's going to be square root, open bracket, 128, 200, minus 121, 800 the cosine of 56, close bracket. This is 245.1 kilometers. So X, which is the length of X, which is RP is equal to 245.1 kilometer.